Have you ever wondered how Apple Siri or Amazon's Alexa works? Do you know what kind of neural networks are responsible for smooth speech and text recognition that power your smartphones? The answer is LSTM or long short term memory networks. LSTM was the brainchild of Sepp Hochreiter and Jürgen Schmidhuber. Though the conception of LSTMs dates back to 1991, it was not well known to the public till the publication of the seminal paper in 1997. LSTMs were introduced to overcome exploding and vanishing gradient problems of recurrent neural networks or RNNs. LSTMs gave machines human-like thinking capability of remembering most relevant information in a sequence and make it available for future use. This feature of LSTMs has been single-handedly responsible for the majority of the successes such as speech recognition, language modeling and machine translation as they address the gradient problem. To store, process and leverage relevant memory LSTMs are equipped with internal mechanisms called gates. Here, think of gate as a mathematical expression which looks something like this. Each LSTM cell or block consists of three gates, input gate, forget gate and output gate. These gates process information with the help of sigmoid and tan functions that help avert the problem of vanishing and exploding gradients. Today, LSTMs have great significance in applications such as speech assistance on smartphones, handwriting recognition, voice assistance like Alexa and even robotics. Jürgen Schmidhuber, who is one of the key people behind LSTMs, has been responsible for many other innovations in AI. From GANs to reinforcement learning to meta-learning, there is hardly a domain that he hasn't contributed to. Today, his ideas power up billions of devices across the world and are used by companies like Apple, Microsoft, Google and Amazon. Check the description to know more about Schmidt Huber's miraculous year at TU Munich in 1990 that changed the world forever.